the Genelec G2 and at my feet the F2 sub. But I will have a look at these first. This is the new range of um, consumer monitors from Genelec. Um, and they're actually pretty much identical to the um, professional series. Um, they're an all metal enclosure. Um, this G2 monitor is biamped. It's got a three quarter inch tweeter and a four inch uh, base driver with a nice little dimpled kind of grill on it. And the legendary isopods, the, the rubber um, feet. And pretty much exactly the same as a professional monitor. There's a power management feature, which means that it automatically switches on and switches off um, when it's not getting any audio signal. So that's a, a handy kind of feature for the home. Got an LED light that tells you that it's actually active or not. And the volume management is, is controlled by whatever DAC or whatever other unit you have there. The other difference between this and the professional series is that it has an RCA connector, um, which in this setup that I have here, which is a near field setup, um, a very uh, four or five feet cable run, it's not a problem at all. So it's got a power switch, it's got a bunch of dip switches. One of them turns the LED on and off. I've got it set to off because it's actually quite a bright LED uh, and it's a bit distracting when you're working. Um, and there's a bunch of dip switches and that'll give you various EQ settings, uh, especially for the bass roll off, um, that's straight out of the box. It'll give you a setting for if it's against a wall, if it's in a reflective surface. So basically I selected the dip switch on the two G2s and the corresponding dip switch on the F2 on the sub and it was pretty much ready to go straight out of the box. The monitors are heavy, they're about four, four and a half kilos each because they're all metal and they're packed with electronics. The sub's the same, it's, um, it's all metal and it's packed with a, a lot of stuff um, and it's heavy, it's about 10 or 12 kilos. Um, it has, uh, oh, I don't know if you can see, but it's got a 8 inch downward firing base element and it's got a port. Um, it's got both RCA and XLR ins and outs, so you can, it's got actually six um, RCA ins and outs, so you can run it as a home stereo 5.1 setup, um, or stereo XLR ins and outs. The DAC running, XLR out of the DAC, XLR into the sub, and then out of the sub I'm taking a pair of RCAs. Uh, it's a very short cable run going to the speakers. So, what I liked about this system is that straight out of the box, once I selected uh, the correct EQ setting by the dip switches, it gave me a really well balanced sound. Um, and I work a lot in studios, uh, post-production studios. The bass extends down to 27 hertz, and it's got 150 watts driving it. So it's very smooth bottom end, and the way that they work is they work as a unit. So um, the response is very, very, the transition between the speakers is very, very, very smooth. You can't pick that you're hearing the, the, the sub kicking in at all. Um, so it's a very nice system straight out of the box. Uh, very musical sounding, very accurate. There's one more feature that I like with this and that is uh, it has a little remote control, um, which obviously you won't find in the high-end uh, professional systems. but. Um, it gives you a couple of functions which I like. One is that if you press the power button lightly once, it'll mute the audio, and you press it again, and it'll unmute it. Um, so it runs pretty much everything. So you can mute it, turn it up, turn it down, and let's have a quick listen. I know it's not a very good representation, but it's a very nice sounding unit.
that's the Genelec G2 powered monitors and the F2 powered 